Hey guys, it's Andy from DMAC Gaming here with another video. In this video, Iron Flag and Zero Empathy are going to be talking to you about Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and their opinions on the new and returning features. I hope you enjoy the gameplay in the background and yeah, peace. Hey guys, we're back and we're going to jump straight into the video now. Okay, Zero Empathy, what are your thoughts on the thrust jump in Black Ops 3? Well, I got a tweet written down here, so it explains like everything that's all like everything that's uh, happened with the thrust jump. So, it says you can go to a specific height, but it's not like Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Exo Jump. You eventually run out of power and drop to the ground, but you may be in the air for about four to five seconds. So, I kind of like the thrust jump because it's kind of like a mix of like you know the old traditional Call of Duty, you know, when you're walking around like that. But it's also the mix of um like Advanced Warfare Exo suits. I, in my opinion, I liked the exo suits, but I know a lot of people didn't. So, I like what that would they've what they've done is they've kind of pleased both parties by like doing um, a mixture of both. So yeah, I like that. So what do you think? What's your thoughts on that, Damo? Yeah, I'm quite happy they still have some sort of um, dash in Black Ops 3 because I was quite a big fan of the exo movements and exo suits in um, Advanced Warfare. But I did also like the um, traditional Call of Duty, so I'm, yeah, I'm pretty happy like you with the mix. The yeah. So what are your thoughts on um, the pick 10 formation? Well, I really like, in my opinion, I really like the pick 10 because it was like it's going back to Black Ops 2 days, you know, when the, you know, when the, um, the score streaks used to be a different thing to the um, creator class. So what you yes. do, if you if you didn't know what pick 10 is, is what there was like a little um what do you call it, like menu that you click score streaks and you could pick your three score streaks for the match and then your creator class was a different like sort of like menu sort of thing so what you could do is it means you um you have more space for attachments you know for perks and all that kind of stuff because what's done in advanced warfare is with the pick 13 what they've done is um the score streaks are now inside the creator class so it means you have less room for perks and stuff so what yeah. it meant was a lot of people were getting rid of um, score streaks to get perks and attachments on their gun. So I really like how they're going back to a pick 10. So what are your thoughts on that, Damo? Yeah, I reckon it's going to be good, especially for some of the pub stompers. So now they're going to have um, their score streaks and their uh, classes separately. So now they'll be able to add on extra um, perks and uh, attachments that are going to help them win more gunfights. So yeah, um, yeah. speaking of... Um, gunfights and abilities and that what are your thoughts on the new special abilities coming to black ops 3 on characters well i reckon that's pretty cool because what it is if in case in case you guys haven't noticed already but there's like a little bar in the bottom left hand corner and when you get like kills you capture flags it it goes points towards it so every time you earn points or something the bar starts to fill up and when the bar is full you get this special ability so you get a special ability for every different character in um the multiplayer so i know one of them for a fact is like a minigun if you've watched the trailer it pulls out the guy pulls out like a minigun and starts drilling everyone so i reckon that's pretty cool yeah. that um you can use miniguns and that all of that kind of stuff in multiplayer yeah. so what do you think of that demo yeah that's pretty awesome i heard there's also going to be lasers as well which will be pretty that's interesting pretty yeah so i'm guessing it's going to be um like the special uh x abilities in advanced warfare where it only lasts for a certain amount of time i'm guessing yeah yeah, 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 it would. I would say so. Yeah, yeah. So, what do you so, think um, on um, no panic knifing? Well, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that because Advanced Warfare with the exosuits now, the uh, panic knifing was pretty OP because you were able to punch very quickly. And even if you just punched in their general area, not exactly on them, it would still kill them. So, it was pretty annoying dying on high streaks on that. So, yeah, what are your thoughts on that? Well, yeah, I'm really happy with it because I remember in Advanced Warfare, you'll be running around the corner and bang. Like, it's a one-shot kill, which I think is really OP. And it was kind of, like, glitchy sometimes. Like, sometimes you could, like, punch them from, like, two meters. And sometimes it would be really inconsistent, like, you'd miss the punch and stuff. And I think a one-shot punch kill is kind of really unrealistic because if you're in, like, a real gunfight and you punch someone, they're not going to be one-shot killed. So, I think it's pretty yeah. um, stupid being a one-shot kill, but I really like it how... Like in um, Black Ops 3, you're going to be able to whack the person with their gun. So it only takes half their health instead of killing them in one shot. So I reckon that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's so, going to be a lot realistic. So what do you think about um, no DNAs being in Black Ops 3? Oh well, yeah, no game in store streaks. Yeah, um, well, Treyarch and David Rondahar were saying um, 
them and Treyarch are not big fans of game ending score streaks. So that's probably why they haven't put on um, a game ending score streak in this. They like the medals, they say. So yeah, um, I personally think a DNA bomb or a nuke makes the game more exciting and like something to work more to rather than just a medal, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the score streaks I heard in Black Ops 3 are going to be bigger and better. So hopefully they're as good as Black Ops 2 as the Advanced Warfare score streaks. That, yeah, they'll pretty bad yeah so i heard the the big like you know the big um the most expensive one is called the mothership yep. so yeah, i'm pretty sure you know a bit about that don't you damo so do you explain yeah yeah that's pretty similar to the uh uh paladin in advanced warfare the low sound black ops 2 where it's, you're gonna be able to shoot rockets but i heard it's gonna be bigger and more powerful than those score streaks so yeah i'm looking forward to the score streaks in black ops 3 so yeah so what's your thoughts on our co-op campaign that, so you can play with friends, do campaign with friends and all that kind of stuff? What's yeah, your thoughts on that? That'd be quite interesting. I heard you can play with um, from two up to four players. And the sick. host, whoever's the host of the uh, campaign game, you're going to be playing their campaign with them and it's only going to be going towards their progress. Well, that's a bit of a bummer, but yeah. What are your thoughts on the campaign? Well, I reckon it's really cool because I remember playing campaign and it's kind of lonely playing by yourself. It's kind of boring. I like doing it with friends because I reckon it would add like a whole new spice to Call of Duty. Like having a lot more fun in the campaign because usually um, I'd do like a couple campaign missions and I'd get bored of it because, you know, it's kind of boring not doing it with friends. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree So what's you your that. thoughts on the um, wall running? Yeah, well, it's that's going to be quite interesting. interesting. Yeah, I believe um, the thrust jumps are going to allow you to run along the wall, and it's pretty similar to Titanfall, as yeah, you can run along the wall for a short period of time. What are your thoughts? So, um, I've got some writing down here on uh, a website. So, uh, if you if you guys aren't aware of what it is, I'll just explain it to you. Wall running is like Titanfall in a way, but you cannot do it on walls, and you must approach the wall in the correct way. Yep. You cannot keep running on a wall forever. You can jump from wall to wall to get through mats faster. You are an easy target, but the areas where you can run aren't in heavy tra traffic areas. Which is pretty cool. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, let me hit that sub button, hit that like button. So, see you in the next one. If I die,